Communities are places people live. There are houses we backyards everywhere. Towns, schools, and stores are far from each other. Outside you can smell the fresh air. Rural is a place with wide open spaces. You may see some chickens and ducks. And horses pull the cards. These big animals help people. Today's gonna be awesome because we're going to learn about rural communities. Rural communities are areas outside cities and towns. In a rural community, there is a lot of open space. Often, there are farmlands. There are also woodland forests and fewer homes. In rural communities, there is more land than houses or people. It is the opposite of an urban community wherein there are far more buildings and people than there is open land. In a rural community, the houses are far apart and sometimes even miles apart. Usually, the people living in the rural areas are engaged in agriculture, fishing, forestry, mining, food gathering, and cottage industries. Most farms are in rural areas. Living in a rural community, life may be a lot slower paced and quieter than in a city. Unlike the city, in a rural community, people might have to drive far to get to places. A rural area is a community with open land few buildings and businesses, and few people. It is not crowded. There are not many people or buildings. Because the land and the businesses are spread out, most of the time, they need to take another form of transportation to go to places or town that they need to go. Here are some examples of rural areas in the Philippines. Batanes, Benguet, Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, and Negros Occidental are some of the rural areas that are involved in agricultural crops farming. Their famous products are rice, Corn, sugarcane, bananas, pineapple, and vegetables. Bulacan, Pangasinan, Laguna, and Batangas are some of the rural areas that are involved in livestock farming to obtain meat and products like milk, eggs, and leather. They breed cows, sheep, pigs, goats, poultry, rabbits, snails, freshwater fish, and honeybees. Carles Iloilo, Leyte, Summer Province, Sarangani Province, 
Quezon Province are some of the rural areas that are involved in fishing. In fishery, they raise or harvest fish and other aquatic life. They catch different kinds of seafood, having different kinds of meat, eggs, seafoods, and dairy products like milk, cheese, and butter won't be possible without our farmers and fishermen. All thanks to them, we have good food to eat. Now that you've learned a lot about rural areas, I want you to answer the following questions. Are you ready? Number 1. Which picture is an example of rural community? A or B? Yes, it's letter A. Because in a rural community, houses and buildings are far from each other. Number 2. What are the things that we commonly see in a rural community? A or B? Right! Letter B! Because in a rural community, the common mode of transportation are tractors or kuligig. There are also carabaos, cows, and horses pulling wooden carts. Some people use boats. Also, there are houses with backyards. There are also forests, farms, and fields as well as ponds and seashores. Great job! Keep in mind, people around the world live in different kinds of communities and homes. Respecting the uniqueness of each person in a community makes us good citizens and help us live in harmony with each other. Everyone in the community need to try to get along with each other and respect each other's differences for the community to function well. And when they do, a community is a great thing to be a part of. That's all for today. This is Teacher April saying, let's keep learning and growing together. See you next time. Bye!